Hi everybody, welcome back to Wine Me Up and Watch Me Go. Um, I'm not drinking wine, I'm drinking a Truly. <laughs> Today, we have a Stitch Fix unboxing. Sorry it's been so long since I've been making a video. Life has been busy between work and um, fun events that I've been doing. I went to the Packers Cardinals game last week. I had a comedy show, um, hanging out with friends and whatnot. But let's go, oh, I cut my retired dress. I've been tired a lot. Work's definitely been keeping me busy and on my toes. Um, and then trying to make time for, you know, everything else. So, all right. Stitch Fix, what is Stitch Fix? Stitch Fix is a styling service that you can get as periodically as you want. You can do monthly, you can do twice a month, you can do weekly, um, you can do it as often as you want. Um, $20 styling fee, 25, $20, I believe it's $20 styling fee. Um, and you get to take that $20 and apply it to any item you keep out of your box. I am on the style pass, so I paid $49.99, and I can get as many boxes as I want, but I don't get a discount on my box unless I buy all five, just like everybody else. Um, but if I don't keep anything, I don't lose my style, my styling pass, and I can send everything back. All right, so first thing in the box is you get your return envelope, anything you don't want to keep out of your box, you put in here and you take it to the post office, uh, prepaid shipping both ways. Um, Apparently they have some sanctuary clothing. So some advertisements in here, that's new. Those haven't been in my last one. And then inside your envelope comes with your pricing of your items and it comes with an oh hello card from your stylist. This box has been sitting here for a while. I keep extending it out. <laughs> it's like I have to get it done. So we'll see what Nicole has to say. So it shows you the items that are inside your box and how other ways that you can style it along with a personalized note from your stylist. So I do have Nicole. So it says, happy fix day, Megan. I'm so glad you love the striped pullover from your last fix. Should I keep an eye out for that Liverpool jacket in a size up since you loved it or was it too pricey? You mentioned a while back that you don't usually wear animal print, but we're hoping to find something with it that you would love. So I started the fix with a cute front tie twist top from Market and Spruce. I love it because of the color blocking makes it so that the animal print isn't too over the top, but just enough. I know you love the super soft material and the Market and Spruce has been the brand that has worked well for you in the past, so I couldn't pass it up. Pair it with your favorite jeans and finish off the look with the adorable olive booties. Ooh from Report Footwear. The colors are also super natural and you can wear them with so many outfits. XO Nicole. All right, so this is my bundle. Look, the animals are playing in the back. Ooh, I kinda like in this one. Kind of a plaid looking. All right, and then your footwear comes in a cute bag that says Stitch Fix. If you guys can see in the corner here, my uh, drapes fell and pulled, and I gotta get it fixed. So I can't pull my curtains. Luckily, it's a little bit later in the afternoon. It's almost 5.30. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Um, so the sun shouldn't be beaming in. All right, let's start with the booties first. Ooh, these are cute. Pull out all the, hope they fit on my ankles. I have big ankles. Willow's over there barking. Hopefully she stops. I forgot to lock the door. Um, a nice little heel. It's thicker, which I like when I wear my heels. It's got the zipper here. Hold on, I gotta yell at Willow. Hold on one second. All right, she's back in. Hopefully she won't go out until after I'm 
done with this portion so I can go close the doggy door. Yeah, you need to stop barking. Yeah. Anyway, so it's got like this cute material here. And it's an olive green uh, with a buckle on the other side. I really like those. Those are cute. All right. So into my bundle. Well, animal print one is first. Oh, I didn't say who this was from. Willow, you stay here. So the booties were, oh, report, report footwear, Charles sweater trim booty, olive. All right, so the next one is a market and spruce, Samantha front twist brush knit top gray. That's cute. Got the animal print and then it's the block, like she said, so it may not be too overpowering. Uh, looks like quarter sleeves. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, so they're not, they're not full sleeves, but it's very soft. I like this. Hey, Willow, come here. Uh-uh. Hey, at least she listens, right? <laughs> come sit down. Oh, sit down. All right, the next item is the Skies Are Blue Langlock Cold Shoulder Top Off-White, size medium. Ooh, this is cute. Not the right season for it. It's getting cold. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it's like a two. Well, at least you shouldn't be see-through. Then you got your cold shoulder. Willow's getting into everything. I should have let her go outside. Um, front and back. That is super cute. I really like that. All right. The next one is a Market and Spruce Pirna Button Down Knit Top Copper. I think this is cute. Oh, and it's so soft. What do you guys think of this one? I like this one. I'm kind of zoomed in. I mean, you guys aren't as far, I'm up to the camera. I think I like this. And even not, um, my last thread up, somebody had commented that if I would have left um, it unbuttoned, because I said it was kind of small, uh, it would have been cute. And I kind of regret that now. And now that stitch, or uh, no, Oh my God, I can't even talk. Um, ThreadUp is not doing those goodie boxes anymore. I'm really depressed about that. I think all of us should go complain um, so they can bring it back. I should have kept it. So I'm really impressed with this. I really like this. Oh, this could be dangerous. All right, last item is Market and Spruce. <laughs> it is the Brenna Color black hoodie, knit French, terry pullover mint. Ooh, I like this too. Play the mint color, then you have gray, and then you have like an off-white. Is it off-white? Is it just my eyes? Uh, maybe white, white with the gray block. Oh, this is cute. And then, um, it has the pocket in the front. This could be very dangerous. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I have a wantable box over there. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. And as soon as I get done with this video, I'll be doing another one with the wantable. So if you see me in the same outfit, don't judge. This is how work has been going. Like I'm in glasses, I don't even have my contacts in. I'm telling you, just wearing me out. All right, perfect. Let me go try on the first item. See, now Willow's sitting there. I'm still gonna go lock the doggy door. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the first outfit. I don't know why, but I'm really digging this outfit. <laughs> I feel very country. So I have the booties on, and then I put the plaid shirt on. This outfit would have been a very cute Chris Stapleton concert shirt outfit had I had it months ago, like two months. So, all right. I did try to wear it buttoned 
just like that. One, I don't think I like it buttoned anyway, but it was too small in the bust area that there was the hole. So I put a cami on underneath, which I think makes it look really cute. I like this and it's really soft. I feel like a country girl. I am a country girl, just minus the country music. I come from Wisconsin. So I like the shirt. I'm gonna have to push down farther for the boots. I'm getting work emails, people are still working. All right, so the boots. You can tell they are really cute. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. So they are really cute. And they do remind me of cowboy boots when I have my pants down. I really do like this outfit. Well, it was at the door. I uh, opened the door and put the screen door there so she can't get out through the doggy door. So now she's just gonna sit there and look outside. All sorts of mad at me. I like this. I am gonna keep the boots on, or the booties on for the remainder. What do you guys think? Pockets. They're both functioning pockets on both sides. I like it. I like the color too. Well, I'm going to put you guys on on the ground. Let's see if you can see my shoes better. I'll back up a little bit. Okay. So there are the shoes. Do like a, oh, hold on. Let me pull up this pant leg. Like a model walk. You can see the back. I think I like those too. Oops, put my hand in the wrong spot. So I do like those. Like I said, I am gonna keep them on to see how my feet feel in them while I'm trying on other clothes, walk around the house a little bit. All right, let me get the next outfit on. I'll be right back. All right, I got the next sweater on. I like this also. Oh, I'm gonna put you down a little bit. There we go. I'm liking this one also. I love the color blocking on it. I do have other sweaters that are color blocking. Other sweaters that are color blocked, but I don't have one this color and I really like this color. I really like this one too. I think every Stitch Fix box I say I'm gonna be in trouble. I like that it has a hood for work. I'm on a golf cart sometimes, and uh, it can get kind of cold, the wind. So it'll be nice to wear it to work with my hood on so my ears don't get cold. I get cold easily living in Arizona. If it's under like 80 degrees, I'm cold. I left the boots on. They're kind of starting to hurt my feet a little bit. I don't know if it's something I can get used to. I think it's the pointy toes. So what do you guys think of this one? I think I'm gonna leave the boots on while I do the want to pull <laughs> box also. So I'll have them on a really long time. All right, I like this one too. All right, all we have left is the animal print and the cold shoulder. I'll be right back. I'm back really quick. I just realized as I was taking this off, I was like, why is there a hole? It has thumb holes, love. Love the thumb holes. I was actually, the sweater I was wearing today when I was at work, my hands were cold. So I wish these had thumb holes. So I like this one also. All right, be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the animal print. I don't know how I'm feeling about the tie up. I know last year I was like big into it. I'm not so much into the tie front anymore. I mean, the shirt's not horrible. It's very soft. I think it's cute. Oh, I just don't know if it's my style. These sweaters are making me really hot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's enough room. I have my cami on underneath it right now, too. This one is definitely going to be a maybe. I'm not 100% sold on it. If I like everything in the box and want to 
keep everything, then I would keep this. Um, if I decide not to keep everything in the box, like the shoes, maybe, I don't know, one of the other shirts, I'd definitely send it back. Hmm. Show you the animal print a little bit better. I'm gonna get a drink really quick. It's like a gray on, a dark gray on a light gray. This is black or a very dark, dark gray. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? This tie front, I'm not just, not digging it. All right, let me go put on the cold shoulder shirt and that's the last one of this box. I'll be right back. All right, I got the cold shoulder one on. This one's definitely a no bueno. Um, it is way too tight. Uh, like this part here was hard to get on. It would need to be bigger. Um, this part fits. It's really, really tight in the bust area. It's cute and all, but it doesn't fit. So if I decide I want to keep these shoes, well, depending on the price, I think it's going to be the other two shirts. I'm going to wear these boots a little bit. We'll see the price of the boots. I don't know. They're cute and it went really cute with the other one. Um, if I decide to, I would definitely have to size up on this. And this is a cute shirt, wrong season, but it is really cute. I might even have to go up two sizes. I don't know. Go up one if that doesn't work. Though it's nice, a stitch fix. If you get a size, it still doesn't fit. If they have it in another one, you can exchange it again. But as of right now, saying no bueno. So I may go log in and see if they even have it in a different size before we go do our review. So then, oh, but then I'll know the prices. All right. We'll do it after I learn what the prices are, because depending on the price, I may just say no to this. Oh, my hair's all wacky from changing. All right, let me get back into my sweater that I had on earlier. We'll go over pricing, and we'll see what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with pricing. So let's go over pricing. The skies are blue, Langlock cold shoulder top, the one that didn't fit. $54. I am going to say no. It was cute. Had it been a bigger size and actually fit, I might have thought about it, but not. And it's not the right time of year for it, so by the time I would wear it next summer, it may not even be in style. So let's see. The market in spruce. All of them are market in spruce. Um, it's this one. Yeah, the Market in Spruce Perina Button Down Knit Top. This is also 54. This is really cute. The Market in Spruce Brianna Color Block French. Then it cuts off. Uh oh. Hooded Knit French Tray Terry Pullover. I really liked. $58. Why is this stuff so expensive? The booties. Report wear, footwear, Charles, sweater, trim, booty, olive, size 10. These are $65. Not a horrible price for boots. They did hurt my feet. And it looks really cute. Paired with this, made them look very cowboy-ish. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? They hurt my feet a little bit. I don't know how long I'd be able to wear them. I don't think I could wear them for a full eight hours, like to work. All right, so then we have the Mark and Spruce, Samantha Front Twist Brush Knit. Um, knit top, gray, cheapest thing in the box, it's $40.
All right. So the stylus pick subtotal is $271. Uh, the buy all discount, if I bought all five pieces, would give you a 25% off, which would take off $67.75. So the order sub total would be $203.25. And I know my boxes are going to get more expensive because it is winter time. Winter clothes are always more expensive, and I do need some winter clothes. So, I think I'm sending everything, well, not everything back. Um, but I'm going to send the booties back because they did hurt my feet. I think I can find something maybe that doesn't hurt. But I do like these, Nicole. Maybe not so... Um, not having the toes like this. Um, so I am going to send those back and then I'm going to send these two shirts back. Um, I loved this, so I'm going to keep this. And I really like this because I like the color. Oh. $58? 60 bucks for this. Oh. And I have a wantable box to unbox next. You know what? I'm not gonna make my final decision just yet. I'm gonna put all these back in here. I will come back. I'm gonna go do my wantable unboxing. I'm gonna see what they have, see what items I like out of that one and decide between the two boxes. Um, see how much I spent on wantable before I make my decision on the stitch fix. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. Let me go do my wantable box and then I'll come back <laughs> after I decide what I'm going to keep out of that box. Maybe they have something similar, maybe not as expensive. Maybe they have something similar and it is expensive. Um, so I'll want this one. Um, but right now I'm really, for sure, for sure, I want to keep the, um, the plaid button down one. That one was really soft. All right, I will come back. Let me go do my wantable unboxing. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just finished my wantable video. Um, found out what I was keeping out of that one. So now I'm back on this one for Stitch Fix. I hope I don't get all these things all mixed up when I try to edit them. I'm really going to have to pay attention. All right, so I was doing some thinking. I thought about just keeping the whole box because um, I was really contemplating the boots. And if I kept the boots, I might as well have just kept the other ones for the... Um, $67.75 off. Um, and then I went onto the Stitch Fix app to find out if they had the cold shoulder. It's in this box somewhere. Uh, in a different size, and they do not. So, that being said, that really helped me decide what I was going to do. Um, I am not going to keep the boots. Um, I do have boots that I don't ever wear. Um, they're knee high. Uh, I should say they're between the knee and the ankle. And I can't zip them up because I have fat legs. Um, the exact same color. So my thought is if I can just lose some inches in my legs, I already have this color. So had maybe if these would have been a different color, maybe like black or brown i probably would have kept them so that made it a little bit easier for me um but i really do like these and i do like the booties nicole if you're watching um maybe just a different color um so with that being said i'm sending back the booties i'm obviously oh here's the cold shoulder i'm sending the cold shoulder back i am sending the animal print back i'm absolutely keeping this it is adorable and I'm going to keep this because I love the color. So I didn't do the math before I came on, but the copper, this is $54 and this is $58. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm sending three items back. I really do like those booties. And that was a hard decision until I realized I have all of the ones that I don't wear because they don't fit and I probably never should have kept them. But my mom said she would wear them and she never has. Go figure. So, 
that is that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, not sure when I'll be getting another stitch fix with as crazy as things have been. Um, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. Um, it might be, I might just do monthly now until life calms down a little bit for me. Um, but hopefully I'll see you soon. Obviously I have this one coming up, then I'll have my wantable and maybe I'll do a stitch fix after that. But all right guys, until next time. Bye.